Thank you all so, so much for making Bang Bang Con 2018 such a rousing success. Another round of applause for all of our speakers, please. Thank you so much. I hope you all had, <laughs> I hope you all had at least as much fun as I did, uh, and um, thank you again to uh, the AppNexus folks for hosting us. Uh, thank you again to Confreaks. Thank you again to Mirabai. Um, and also, here is Julia Evans to thank our sponsors. That applause better be for our sponsors. Um, OK, I want to talk about a really interesting topic, um, which is how we fund this conference and what, what that's about. Um, so there are a lot of things that we spend money on at Bang Bang Con. For example, um, speakers need to come here, um, and not all of them can afford to easily, right, from like bar. Um, and so we pay for speakers' travel. Um, this year, we started paying honorariums for our speakers to like recognize some of the hard work that they do a little bit, um, even though I don't think we could do that enough. <laughs> like, it's not possible. Um, and we get to do all these cool things, like we get to have open captioning, and we get to record the videos, and we get to have food. Um, and this is all of this is sort of like in conflict with this other thing we do, um, which is we try to make Bang Bang Con radically affordable, right? Like we could be like, oh, this conference is super popular, and therefore we will just charge like $10 trillion for tickets. Um, but we don't want to do that, right? That's like not what Bang Bang Con is about. Um, so we want to make it sliding scale, pay what you want, um, which we do, um, which is great. Uh, so, like, one thing I want to talk about is, like, sort of the emotional experience of being a conference organizer and running a conference. Um, and so the way it works is you're like, okay, we're going to have a conference, everyone. And you open the CFP, and you're like, okay, it's happening. And then you're like, great, time to pay for it. <laughs> Like, how are we going to actually have money so that we can actually have a conference, right? And of course, the way this works um, is we have amazing sponsors um, who are here. And something that was very exciting that happened this year. So the first year, we were like, what is a sponsor? How do we do it? And then people helped us, and it was amazing. Um, we had to go out and ask a lot of people, right? And then some of those people said, yes, we believe that you're a real conference, and we will sponsor you, which was sort of surprising and wonderful. Um, <laughs> Um, and I have a lot of appreciation for those people. Um, but an amazing thing that happened this year um, is actually, like, we were like, hey, we need sponsors this year. And then people came to us. And like, they emailed me, and they were like, Julia, I would like to sponsor Bang Bang Con. And I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Um, and we didn't need to um, do as much outreach. I think actually everyone just came to us, uh, which was fantastic. Um, and so I want to call out some of these people. Um, one other cool thing that's been happening is we have repeat sponsors. For example, today, this year, Mangang um, is at AppNexus. Last year was at AppNexus, so they've supported us for two years. Um, Managed by Q and Comcast have also supported us for two years, um, which is amazing. Um, the Recur Center and Stripe have sponsored Bang Bang Con every year um, since the beginning. Um, <laughs> which is wonderful. And we have new sponsors, right, who just started sponsoring us this year, who we love just as much. Um, <laughs> Um, 3M is, our, is a phenomenal sponsor who's new this year. And we have Twilio, and we have the Azure Developer Advocates team, and Merrill, and Adobe Typekit. And it's like, it's like outrageous. People will just be like, oh, can I sponsor too? And I'm like, yeah, we, please. <laughs> like, and it's really cool because like, for every, like, every one of these sponsors is like a pretty significant chunk of, chunk of our overall budget, right? <laughs> Which is, I think is really great. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you to all the sponsors. One, and one thing that I think is cool is like, I think that a lot of sponsors say to us is they're like, oh, we want to build like inclusive companies and we want to like make the world better. We want to show that we care about that. I'm like, oh, cool, me too. Like, I would also like to build like a more inclusive tech industry. Maybe we can all do that together. Um, and uh, okay, the last exciting thing that happened, there are a lot of exciting things, I'm sorry. Um, the last exciting thing that, that happened is uh, this year we ended up with a little bit of extra money. Like we now have, like are not operating on like a zero, like we run the conference and then our bank account is at zero. Um, and having extra money allows us to do really cool things, which we're gonna announce later. <laughs> We 
hope, like April mentioned yesterday, that Bang Bang Con is a reminder of why you became a developer in the first place, uh, or got into software or hardware or whatever it is that you do uh, that uh, you enjoy. And there's a lot of joy and excitement and surprise in computing. And we hope, like every year, that you leave this venue inspired, engaged, and fired up about making the world a better place through the work that you do. I want to share a quick story with you, uh, which is tradition here, uh, which is the origin story of Bang Bang Con. Uh, so, sorry, the font is a little small. I hope, I hope everyone can read on the things, but I'll, I'll read it out also. Uh, so, Recurse Center, uh, which is a wonderful program, uh, like a writer's workshop for programmers here in New York City, um, who is like affiliated or has been or knows Recurse Center, yeah, a lot of you. Um, it's totally okay if you don't. That's fine, but now you do. Uh, so that every year they hold uh, what's called Never Graduate Week or Alumni Week, where everybody gets back together and, and if, if possible, and codes together or whatever. Um, and so uh, Maggie, who's a, a used to be an organizer, um, organizer emeritus of Bang Bang Con, uh, was asking, "Hey, is everyone coming for Alumni Week?" Uh, and Alex, who, if you all remember from the Pokemon talk, uh, was like, "Yeah, hopefully." Uh, and Ian uh, said, yeah, well, my boss said, if I can find a conference in New York that week that's at least semi-work related, they'll pay for my flight. Uh, anyway, that would save me a bunch of cash and, and some PTO also. So, uh, yeah, all right, well, I might be able to afford it, maybe, but maybe hopefully there's like an excuse to expense it. Uh, and Alex says, make up a nice conf website, Pretend you're going, then go. It's foolproof. <laughs> I, I want to remind you, this is in 2013. Bang Bang Con, this, this is before all of this. Julia Evans <laughs> says, you could organize a real conference by May if you wanted to have no time, probably. And Alex says, I'll even do it for you so you don't get fired. And so Alex uh, suggests the first, uh, the first draft title, which is Julia Evans' Blog Posts Con. <laughs> I don't know if you've read Julia Evans' blog post, but you should. Uh, uh, Allison, who was uh, at the time a facilitator at, at Recurse, says, I would attend the hell out of that. Is there a CFP? Uh, and uh, so Ian's like, yeah, spending a week there should be work-related enough. I don't really need a conference. Like, it's, it's cool. Uh, but Julia says, submit a talk. And requirements are it must contain at least three exclamation marks in the title. Maybe we'll call it exclamation mark con or exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark con, uh, which is kind of a mouthful. So Maggie says, well, why don't we pronounce it bang, bang, bang con? And then Julia says, well, I would actually go to that. All right, Ian, I got your back. Bang, bang, bang con just needs a website. Ian's like, oh, Bang Bang Con is a little easier to pronounce. All right, cool. Well, bangbangcon.com is available, and Alex is like, all right, great, let's get it. Uh, now we need space, we need a chair, we need you know, everything, whatever. <laughs> uh, and Julia Evans writes the first uh, call for proposals, CFP. Uh, it's a programming conference about what excites us, uh, blah, blah, blah. The only requirement is that your talk is programming related uh, and has an exclamation mark in the title, which is still pretty much our requirements. Um, the one thing that we have changed is at the time we encouraged uh, what we called upworthy style submissions. Uh, you won't believe this one weird GCC bug. All right, no, but we're not actually doing this. This isn't actually happening. No, of course not. Uh, Julia says, I'm not even allowed to organize conferences right now. Um, all right. So Alex is just you know, ignoring all of that and charging ahead and says, well, Bang Bang Con is easier to say, so I'm going to register the website. <laughs> all right, cool, are we gonna have tracks at this conference? And it's like, ah, maybe. And, and so Alex is like, all right, well, I'm about to register it, like, speak now. One year, three years, five years? <laughs> this is five years. I was actually, I was going through these slides and I looked at this slide and I said, oh no, are we about to run out of our domain name registration? <laughs> I gotta go check. <laughs> uh, fortunately, it's on auto renew now, so now we have to have a conference forever, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, Alex says, I am now the proud owner of bangbangcon.com. Julia Evans, amaze, wow. Alex says, wait. Leo says, awesome. Alex says, did I just register bangbangcorn.com with an R by mistake? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> I love this. Alan says, don't worry, it's just a pivot. Uh, we, we do actually own bangbangcorn.com. Uh, <laughs> And the, the funny story is, uh, so we had to, to, we had to uh, make an LLC so that we could do finance things. Uh, and we were like, oh man, what's the name for our LLC going to be? Well, of course, Bang Bang Corn LLC. And so <laughs> I enjoy the fact that these corporations have to write a check to Bang Bang Corn LLC every year. <laughs> uh, and uh, Nick, a facilitator at Hacker School, says Hacker School will host it, uh, which is used to be the name of Recurse Center. Uh, Ian's like, yeah, now I get to go to New York City for free. Uh, and Alex is like, great, we're, we're doing this. And that was uh, 2014's Bang Bang Con. So Bang Bang Con obviously uh, exceeded expectations, uh, of which there were zero. Um, <laughs> and we have thought a lot about how we scale Bang Bang Con. Like, how do we make Bang Bang Con accessible? How do we make Bang Bang Con um, meet the demand for, for that, that people want Bang Bang Con, obviously? Um, I actually I want to invite the um, founders of StarCon up here for just a moment uh, to talk about that. Because I think this is a wonderful example of uh, how we want to scale Bang Bang Con, what we call horizontally, which is that we're going to inspire other people to start events just like Bang Bang Con. So come on up. Hello. Hi, everyone. There's a lot of people from up here. Um, so my name is Arshia. This is Anna. That's this my is, name. This is Evie. Um, and we're from Waterloo, which is in Canada. So, so, so last year, around February, we attended a conference called HelloCon, which was held in Toronto. And Josh, who is somewhere in this room, there he is. Uh, so, so Josh helped organize it, and we attended it. And it was basically like Bang Bang Con, but Canadian. Um, and make of that like what you will, but it happened, and it was amazing. Um, and I think halfway through the conference, I turned to the two of them, and I'm like, let's do this in Waterloo. We can totally do this. And I think that evening over like pasta, we were like, we're going to do this. It's going to be just like Bang Bang Con because we attended Bang Bang Con a few months later and there were so many exciting experiences and projects and stories that we heard from people. And we were like, no way this is like contained in New York. They ha these have to exist in places besides um, New York and America. And we go to Waterloo, which is like uh, known for computer science. And we were like, this has to exist. There have to be people who have things that they want to say and share with people who maybe can't come to New York or uh, can't travel or can't afford to or don't get in. Because there's like, what? 30 slots here to speak, and how many applications does Bang Bang Con get? Hundreds, hundreds, right? 300. Um, so last year, uh, no, this year. Oh my God, yeah, it was this year. Was it was in January, okay. Uh, so this year in January, we held StarCon um, for the first time, and it was, it was really great. Um, I wanna let Anna talk about the meaning behind StarCon and like why we called it that, because it was actually her idea. Yeah. We don't have like a screenshot for that, because it, it was like an IRL meeting, um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, actually, coming up with a name for this conference is like the first thing on my resume. I'm really proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, again, we were really inspired by Bang Bang Con and kind of going off of the whole, like, you know, the exclamation point, it means not in a lot of languages. Oh, can people hear me? Um, I lost my train of thought. Um, we're kind of going off that regex theme. I just started like brainstorming and putting out like all I could remember from like second year computer science, like the random regex course we had. Um, and we came up with StarCon. So the asterisk has a couple different meanings. The first one meaning that um, everyone is welcome. It's the wild card symbol. It matches everything. It matches you. Um, <laughs> Um, and the other part of it being that um, we also wanted to, like Bang Bang Con, make it technical, but make it broadly technical. So we don't just want to hear about syscalls, uh, 
fedora, um, your really kind of esoteric tech stuff, but also culture and um, ways that speakers are impacting tech and everyone's impacting tech. Um, and I guess the last part of it is it's a light bulb, which is kind of cute and fun. Lightning talks? Lightning talks, that was the other pun, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's kind of our story in a nutshell. Um, yeah, so I just want to pitch in and say that organi or organizing a conference is definitely harder than we thought that rainy night in Toronto over pasta. We really thought we had free time. Um, <laughs> uh, but we got uh, over 100 applications, and it was like our first run, and we were expecting like 30 applications for 20 slots because we didn't know that like we didn't know how far the reach of this would be So if any of you are kind of thinking we could do a conference in insert your city um, You probably can if you have the right resources if you have enough people who care about this And I encourage you to like take that like idea and like run with it. Don't think too much. Just just do it <laughs> It'll happen. It'll be great and next year. You'll be here talking about your con So yeah Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sponsor us or apply to speak later. <laughs> Thank you all. I, I want to um, uh, echo that sentiment. Uh, if you are interested in starting your own conference, uh, Bang Bang Con and its organizers are here as resources for you. Uh, we're happy to share the wisdom we've picked up over the last five years. And we're happy to connect you with uh, our network of other people who have been inspired. Um, and actually, StarCon was our inspiration for paying our speakers this year. So it's great when we can give into the community, and then the community is able to inspire us as well. Um, but we have an exciting announcement to make. Uh, over the past five years, Bang Bang Con has been a success, uh, thanks to you, uh, our attendees, our speakers, our sponsors, uh, and it's been such a success uh, that the demand for what we're doing is much greater than we are able to meet. Uh, anyone who has submitted a talk, to pro talk proposal to Bang Bang Con probably knows that we get way more strong talk proposals than we have room to accept. Uh, and anyone who's tried to buy a ticket uh, knows that we have way more potential attendees than we have room for. That's a great problem to have, uh, but it also means that we constantly have to disappoint people. Um, and there's only so much that our small team of volunteers can really do. So in the long term, the solution for the inability to meet this demand is for there to be a lot more conferences inspired um, and a new generation of organizers really to step up. Uh, and so if anything, uh, the demand for Bang Bang Con has only increased uh, as more people experience the magic and fun of this conference format. Uh, this year, we got a record-breaking number of propos proposals, nearly 300, uh, which is about as many people are in this room. Uh, and so it's clear that we need to expand. Uh, we need to better reach people who aren't just in New York. Uh, and that includes some of the organizing team. So uh, <laughs> first, uh, we are expanding Bang Bang Con to the West Coast. Uh, <laughs> So we will be holding our first West Coast conference, Bang Bang Con West, in Santa Cruz, California in early 2019. Uh, don't worry, StarCon, we won't conflict with your date. Uh, <laughs> uh, the venue will be the campus of uh, UC Santa Cruz, uh, which is where Lindsay, our co-organizer, uh, is starting a new job as professor this fall. Uh, congratulations to her. And UC Santa Cruz is providing seed funding to launch that conference, uh, but we are still looking for more sponsors, so if you want to help out, please get in touch. The other thing is that we're actively recruiting new organizers to help out uh, putting on Bing Bang Con West. Uh, first, we want to make a great conference, but second, we want to incubate a new generation of conference organizers. So by the time we're done, every organizing member of the Bang Bang Con West team will have the skills and experience to go out and launch their own conference if they want to. We don't just want to ask people, uh, we already know how to organize this, but we want to find people we, oh, sorry, haha. <laughs> we don't want to just ask people we know to organize this. Uh, we want to find people we don't know. So for the first time, we're asking people to apply to join the organizing team. Uh, and if that sounds like something that you want to do, uh, go to bangbangcon.com slash west to learn more. That is the last slide. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you all so very much for coming to Bang Bang Con 2018. I hope you had a wonderful time. I hope you leave here inspired and to make the world a better place through the work that you do. Thank you so much, and have a good night. <laughs>